For years, Dubai's skyline has towered over its neighbours as a regional lure for expats. But it could be losing some of its shine. Some economists have suggested the city is showing a gross slowdown in white-collar jobs, such as financing and engineering, and pointed to external factors as part of the issue. You have to look at Saudi Arabia, which is, whose economy is twice the size of the entire UAE. As the saying goes, if Saudi Arabia sneezes, the rest of the GCC catches a cold. So if you're looking at demand trends in the UAE and Dubai in particular, you need to see the slowdown in the Saudi Arabian economy as one of the main reasons for this. Dubai's property market is also going through a rough patch. The last government data concerning the second quarter of 2018 showed rental prices drop over 8% year on year. In some sense, Dubai has become a victim of its own past success. Its economic model giving rise to skyscrapers and commerce, drawing in talent and capital from around the globe, all out of what just decades ago was a desert outpost. That means it's become an example Middle Eastern countries want to replicate, leading to greater competition. As Saudi Arabia drives to diversify its economy, it's trying to entice more talent and investment. Dubai is also a changing environment for foreign workers, this year introducing 5% VAT. And promoting so-called emiratization, a goal to increase the presence of homegrown talent in the private sector. Certainly the, the wage levels and the cost of living seems to be lagging behind um, what we see even in other GCC countries. Uh, so whilst I think Dubai's done a lot of work and, uh, and UAE also in terms of uh, ease of doing business, I think uh, you can see places like Bahrain uh, have got this interesting uh, combination of ease of doing business and some improvements there, but also seem to be a relatively uh, low cost of living and a more comfortable place uh, to work. Perhaps most importantly, the government has recently introduced a law permitting 100% ownership of some UAE-based businesses. Details are still limited, but it's a big change from the 49% ceiling previously in place. Undoubtedly, Dubai remains a regional hub. The question is whether it can still stand tall amid increasing competition. Jacob Grease, the CGTN in Dubai.